And speaking of cotton, no cotton producer, input supplier, ag researcher, or cotton economist can fully explain why the 2010 season ended so successfully. The Monitor's Rick Trepto reports from the Beltwide Cotton Conference held this year in Atlanta that the stage is set for the industry to have an even better 2011. It's been a very reinvigorating year for the industry and we look forward to the future coming from it. Floydana, Texas grower Eddie Smith produces approximately 2,500 acres of cotton. He told this, the largest meeting of those working in the nation's cotton industry, that yes, cotton prices last year did go over a dollar a pound. The producers continued to find seed, chemical, and other input costs grew too. We in cotton have been in a cost price squeeze for several years. Our cost of production have risen, but we anticipate that they will continue to rise, and that's why the new price increase with what we sell out there has been very encouraging to us. So, uh, yes, we're watching that very diligently to make sure that our cost of production stay in line the best that they can. More surprising was the yields were made despite drought in many parts of the cotton belt. A University of Georgia cotton oh, team member we'll says there are similarities all states face. A lot of the challenges that we that we faced are common, especially in the Mid-South and Southeast. Um, this year, one was weather. Um, you know, on a regional perspective, you know, in the Southeast especially, variety changes was a big important issue. Throughout that entire region, through the Southeast and Mid-South, uh, glyphosate-resistant weeds are the big challenge. So I mean, there's a lot of commonalities in, in terms of the challenges. Speakers said cotton production could go up another 10 to 25 percent in 2011. A cotton marketer said producers should not be afraid to lock in prices early. I know cost of production have gone up. I know cotton and beans are fantastic competition and show wonderful returns and they might not have some of the pigweed problems. I know cotton's hard to grow. I know it's got, it's wrought with risk, but don't ignore, please don't ignore 90 cent cotton and dollar cotton. There was also a cyber cafe for attendees to use the internet along with company exhibits and just a good place to buy cotton souvenirs. I'm Rick Treptill for the Georgia Farm Monitor.